This is Al Kwan Speaks uh, on the Blog Talk Radio, uh, Talk Real Solutions Network. And tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to get into the issue of Urban Myths and Legends 2, because I had more from what I did last time. And on top of that, I keep hearing the same things from the same type of people. And... uh no matter what, they continue to repeat the same old legends. And you can call them all-out lies. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into each one. And I think this one is going to be a very enlightening episode to kind of teach people the truth, so to speak. You know, and hopefully we can erase the lies and the BS. And uh, hopefully people will put the BS to rest. But, of course, if you have an agenda, then uh, you have a reason for keeping the BS alive. So the first part, what we're going to do is we're going to continue the original list that I had. And then upon listening to some Negroes, it uh, reminded me of some other things. (laughs) That black people uh, swear by and believe in. So it made me do a part two. So let's start off with uh, a part of what I did last week. Because one of the questions were was uh, the nation of Islam, they're not, which is true. And then I alluded to the nation of Islam not being pro-black. And I know that might shock you because the first thing on your mind is you're going to think, wait a second. They talk about crackers. They uh, say that they're about blackness. They always talk about black people this, black people that. And, uh, of course, they talk about crackers, even though they don't anymore because now they talk Farrakhan says the enemy And Let me tell you why they're not pro-black We already outlined Why they're not Muslims They don't have beards And of course they wear suits Nation of Islam Is a Masonic outfit let, let, Let's be clear on that They're not pro-black Because they're from the Masons They're not pro-black because Let's get real They're God <laughs> they call Master Farad Muhammad. He's a white guy. I mean, they're calling a white guy Master. And he's God. That alone, I could stop right there. But I'll continue. Have you noticed something else about the nation of Islam? Each main national leader of the nation of Islam has been what? They've been light skinned or white style. Master Farad Muhammad, Elijah Muhammad, Malcolm X, Louis Farrakhan. See, Khalid Muhammad would have broken that mold. But of course, we know what happened to him and we know Farrakhan shut him down. So again, that's light skin. Now you got the Nori Muhammad coming out, little man. Uh, Again, that's the trend That shows you that they're not pro-black Another thing The men's hair If they have any Is always gelled up or greased up To show waves Why? I mean, Farrakhan Has his hair gelled up or whatever you want to call it And uh, He acts like that's his natural hair We know that's not his natural hair I mean, he even tries to claim that he's a mulatto now. So that is fiction. Nori Muhammad, the same. Maybe everybody you could think of, the same. Uh, Malcolm X, when he was with the Nation of Islam, even though he had red hair, he wore his hair natural. When he left the Nation of Islam, that's when he grew the goatee, if you notice, to come become a more official Muslim, so to speak. Same thing with uh, W.D. Muhammad. 
So, and and there was a period in uh, Louis Farrakhan's life after the Nation of Islam disbanded uh, officially or originally, where he became, I think it was Abdul Alim Muhammad, uh, Orthodox style Muslim, <laughs> so to speak. So, their God is white. The men's hairdo. Or white style hairdos. That's not the way black people's hair is. Uh, Waves and parts to the side. No, 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 no. It's not like that. Now let's talk about the women's hairdo. Again, matter of fact, the nation of Islam, they detest black people's natural hair. I don't have to tell you about the famous video of uh, Farrakhan saying that uh, black people's hair is, is, I forgot the term he used, but it was derogatory. Let's get it like this. The women, the nation of Islam, they reject natural black hair. They reject afros. They reject dreadlocks. They reject anything that looks black hair-wise and skin color-wise. The women, you don't see them with natural hair hairdos. You don't see anybody with the afro. That's why the men keep their hair closely cropped or bald. The women keep their hair covered. To this day, I have never, ever seen a nation of Islam female with her hair bared to the public. Never. Some people might say, oh, well, that's a religious thing, but I've never seen it. You could even take Shahrazad Ali. I mean, I've been dying to see her with under that uh, crown or helmet or whatever she wants to call it. Not putting her down, but I'm just saying she never took it off. That's another example. Every female Muslim, they never took it off. So if you took it off, what will you find? Well, the men, they're a good indicator. Which And the famous nation of Islam is uh, saying is, your hair was fried, dyed, and laid to the side. That's what you'll find underneath the uh, nation of Islam females coverings. So again, that's not pro-black. Again, what they say, what their tenets are, and what they do, that tells you where they stand. So because they mention blacks, because they say Elijah Muhammad was a black nationalist, as some people say, but he wasn't. I mean, those are the facts. They don't, they don't do what they do for black people. They do what they do either for Islam, as they call it. And, and you know, if, if you listen closely... They say Islam as taught by Elijah Muhammad. That should say something to you right there. (laughs) But people don't think. See, they listen to the hype job, and then they say, okay, well, these people must be black militants. They're not militant, and they're not pro-black. So that's something else that black people need to uh, get a hold of. And, um, you know, you got to stop falling for the okey-doke. And... uh, What's the other thing that the, the, the Nation of Islam National Representatives, the leaders, again, they're all light-skinned, damn near white. That tells you where they're going, because Khalid Muhammad would have been the perfect Nation of Islam and a black leader representative. Also, Khalid Muhammad was a Freemason as well. They're all Freemasons. Again, uh, all these show, all these black groups, make no mistake about it. I told you this before. They are all Freemason outfits or organizations put together by Jews. That's that's the bottom line. So the Nation of Islam is not pro-black. In fact, they're actually pro-white. I know you're, some of you are saying, nah, nah, how are they pro-white? Let me tell you how they're pro-white. What is the white man always? What, what is the white man always wanted between blacks and whites? He wanted black people to get their black asses away from white people, right? Now, what do the Nation of Islam want? The Nation of Islam always says, we must separate from white people, since we'll never get any justice from white people. That's what the white man wants. He wants you to separate from him. So that's that's pro-white. See, they're just disguising it. And the reason why they're disguising it is because they're Freemasons. And um, 
So that's total separation between the blacks and the whites. They're doing what whites want. But they're looking mean, sounding mean. They're anti-black. That's why they never do anything for black people. They're anti-black. They're not pro-black. What have they ever done? Nothing. All they've ever done was talk. Talk, talk, talk. Sound mean, dress slick, but they never did anything in in actuality. So they're pro-white. And that's a fact. Their God is white. And if you tell them he was something else, they, they claim the guy's father was jet black. But there's no proof of that. And then when you go to the FBI files, they say, well, you're just a hater. You want to believe the white man. Well, I say to that, in this case, who else is there to believe? Either we take your word for it or we have to take another view for it. The FBI, all they do is tell you, well, Elijah Muhammad said this. That's not good enough for me. I need to see, see the man's family, Farad's family. Show me his family. How come nobody wants to do that? I'm sure his family is he has descendants somewhere. But again, they're pro white. Khalid Muhammad should have been a nation of Islam leader, but he's not. Looks like this Nori Muhammad is the new guy out. And uh again, Farrakhan already made his declaration to the white man in twenty twelve when he officially declared Scientology as the state religion of the nation of Islam. That's another thing, too. They're not religious either. Believe it or not. (laughs) They're not religious. But the issue was pro-black, and that's not what they are. So that is the nation of Islam. Also, the next topic. A lot of people think the Morris Science Temple, or the Morris uh, Science Temple, they, they think they're Muslims, too. 